Hey everybody, welcome to Psychology Element. INTJs are rational, intelligent, and witty people who constantly analyze the world around them, seeking ways to improve it. Whether it's through sciences or the arts, INTJs are always seeking innovative breakthroughs to improve their quality. While these logical architects are one of the most important personalities for discovering advances in society, they're sometimes viewed as critical or cold from their pupils. One of the most famous INTJs in fiction is the famous Heisenberg, or Walter White, from the television show Breaking Bad. If you haven't seen the show yet, be warned, there's spoilers ahead. Walter blew the world away when he went from sleepwalking through life as a husband and high school chemistry teacher to the most dangerous crystal meth producer in all of New Mexico. Always needing to be intellectually stimulated, Walter White found his niche in cooking meth. His new lifestyle was dangerous and illegal, yet Walter managed to escape death and the law dozens of times using his mind. So do you want to know if you've got a personality like Heisenberg's? Stick around for our 10 signs you're an INTJ. Be sure to stick around until the end and let us know which was your favorite. Number 10. Knowledge is your best weapon. If there's one thing INTJs like Walter White are famous for, it's their intellect. To an INTJ, knowledge is power, and Walter White proves it. It takes a special kind of person to go from a high school science teacher with a recent cancer diagnosis to the kingpin of an illicit drug empire. To many, this leap in life choices might seem nearly impossible. After all, cooking crystal meth and organizing what was practically a production company isn't something the average Joe can just easily pick up. How could he know how to do all that without having any experience? For an INTJ, it seems completely plausible. INTJs absorb information like a sponge and are able to apply it in a variety of scenarios. For example, although Heisenberg was a chemist, they didn't teach him how to make crystal meth. He had to think creatively, using his previous knowledge to ensure he'd create the perfect blue drug. As for how he gained so much power, he used all of the knowledge he gained throughout his life to think of unique, inconspicuous weapons to gain control over a situation, like when he used the toxic ricin to poison Brock. It's highly abnormal for an INTJ to use their knowledge maliciously like Walter did, but it does allow for them to be highly versatile and adaptive people. Number nine, some say that you're so rational you come across as cold. With all this knowledge and rational thinking, sometimes INTJs can forget all about being emotionally tactful. Often, they disregard the importance of emotions in favor of logic, but their pragmatic methods in life can come off as a little too cutthroat or aloof when managing their interactions with others. To them, emotions slow things down, and when people value emotions over facts, they become impatient and annoyed. This is seen in Walt throughout the entire series of Breaking Bad, being particularly notable when he allowed Jane to die while sleeping next to Jesse. In Walter's mind, his main focus was growing his crystal meth business, and Jane was a distraction in the way of his goal. It made sense to Walter to let her die. Jesse and everyone else would move on with time, and then he could get back to work. Walter, along with many INTJs if they aren't careful, was unprepared for the emotional ripple effect that came from his actions. Jane's death not only impacted Jesse's well-being so badly that he was too traumatized to work longer than Walter anticipated, he also caused a plane crash due to Jane's father grieving. Even though INTJs might not value emotions highly, it's important they learn to be considerate of others if they want satisfying relationships. Number eight, common traditions and social conventions feel pointless. Things like celebrating Valentine's Day or attending birthday parties can often feel silly, unproductive, and even useless. All they do is get in their way of completing their goals. Walter, who felt frustrated and annoyed when his family would request that he join them for family traditions and celebrations, would often put them second to his goal of being the most powerful man in his illicit drug industry. If you feel like rituals with loved ones are trivial and inefficient, you may have the same personality as the notorious Heisenberg. Number seven, you seek an intellectual equal more than a supportive friend. INTJs are very particular about how they spend their leisure time, and that includes who they spend it with. When developing a friendship with someone, INTJs don't care about morals, good character, or support. All they care about in a friend is someone who's an equal in intelligence and can bounce off their creative ideas to improve their reality. This is seen in Walter and how he treats Jesse and how he treated Gail before he fired him. He viewed Jesse as stupid, incompetent, and lesser than himself even when Jesse would try to impress him. 
Regardless of how skilled or good-hearted Jesse was, he could never make Walter proud of him like he tried so hard to do. In contrast, Walter treated Gale, who he viewed as an intellectual equal, with dignity and respect before forcing Jesse to kill him. Number 6. Some people find your sarcasm and witty banter hilarious. Others, not so much. Heisenberg might not be known for his comedy, which most INTJs can probably relate to. This isn't because they're not funny, it's because INTJs are normally so focused on their goals they never let themselves relax. When they do let themselves have a break and take it easy, their witty banter and dry sarcastic jokes have people laughing all night. That is, if the individual finds sarcasm funny, an INTJ's sense of humor isn't for everyone. By the way, if you're finding this video valuable so far, then make sure to hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm, and why not subscribe so you can keep learning more? It's free. Number 5. Your opinions and arguments are based on rational evidence. Heisenberg never made a decision or argument without ensuring there was evidence to back it up. Heisenberg and INTJs don't form their opinions easily, no matter how trivial they may seem. Throughout the season, Jesse rarely doubted Walter's advice because he knew Walter was similar to a walking encyclopedia and wouldn't say anything without the facts. Number 4. You question rules, especially when they aren't logical. INTJs often question and disregard rules and authority figures, especially if the rules don't make sense to the INTJ. This isn't done because they're rebellious rule breakers, rather it's because they feel their ideas for rules would be better, so they act this way. Walter used to be a meek, law-abiding teacher, but as soon as he was diagnosed with cancer and looking death in the face, he realizes it would be illogical to obtain money in any other way. Sure, most would find this logic insane, but he had a foolproof plan that gained him millions. Why would he follow the law when he could make millions for himself and his family? Number 3. Finding a romantic partner is challenging. It probably doesn't come as a surprise that INTJs struggle to find love. One may assume that it's because they're so emotionally dismissive, but it's likely due to their own pickiness. INTJs sometimes get stuck creating an imaginary world that is far better than reality and believe that with careful precision, they can make it happen. As a result, they often imagine an ideal romantic partner in their mind and will grow unsatisfied if they settle for anything less. INTJs value intelligence and open communication to bounce around ideas and theories with more than anything else in a significant other. While these are great qualities to seek in a person, he tends to view people who don't meet their unrealistic standards as lesser. This is seen in Walt and his previous relationship with his former colleague, Gretchen Schwartz. Intelligent, kind, beautiful, and born into wealth, she was the perfect woman for Walt. Truly in love, they were engaged, until Walt began feeling inferior to Gretchen and her family for their wealth. Leaving suddenly, without explanation, Walter eventually married Skylar. Throughout their marriage, Walter grows resentful for her, for her joy in mundane events and shallow interests. Number 2. When they do find a partner, romance never comes easily. And this is where the emotionally dismissive part comes in. Although INTJs and Walter seem to have had no problem attracting women, maintaining a healthy relationship was difficult. Even before Walter became ill with cancer, it's apparent that there is little warmth towards Skylar or interest in her life. Watching Walter engage in tedious, boring small talk with Skylar makes him look like he's being tortured that only fellow INTJs can relate to. Number 1. You often feel like an intellectual superior. Sure, INTJs like Heisenberg seek and retain knowledge like no other, but no one knows it more than themselves. Confident in their abilities and intelligence, they don't hold back from showing it. This can sometimes make them come off as arrogant that rubs people the wrong way. As Walter attends birthday parties and dinner parties with Hank and Marie, he often stays quiet, but his eye rolls show how much more superior he considers himself compared to others. When he doesn't feel superior, like with his ex-girlfriend Gretchen or Gus, the original kingpin in Albuquerque, he either lashes out to ensure he regains power or cuts them from his life to protect his superiority complex. So, do any of these sound like you? What other ways did Heisenberg show us his true INTJ self? Let us know in the comments below. If you like these great tips, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any psychology videos. And make sure to check out our personality types playlist for more. And thanks for watching.